There's the inside of the bank. Very impressive, big, nifty looking bank. Now, uh, from Yana and Doc Fulton, give me spot hidden rolls. Matt, you can try at negative 30 as you are, you, you, you are now gonna, if you need to do anything, you will have a tactical advantage because you're spending your time checking out the bank. I Did you guys, it. yeah? I made it by half. Right. You guys notice uh, that like between the bank and uh, the armored car, a big truck is heading down the road and a green sedan kind of suddenly pulls out in the road and a truck clips it. Both vehicles immediately stop. The truck is now blocking the view of the armored truck. A thin bald man in a suit steps out of the green sedan and heads toward the truck driver with uh, some sort of papers. And the truck driver comes out and he has papers and they go and they're writing down things from each other's papers, apparently. I'm looking to see if there's anybody getting ready to do anything here, like like they're waiting for that setup out there. Um, right. Give me, uh, you don't see anything just yet, but give me a, um, a lip reading roll. Oh, I've been building up my lip reading. Yes, excellent. I'm sure uh, he points it out to you as, as well. So, like, hey, check this shot out. Plus, you're still waiting in line. So this is the most interesting shit going on. Anybody make it? Fumble. Yeah. Fumble? Uh, the the guy in the suit is like, ah, you have you have uh, at last come from the planet Kellon to take me home. And the truck driver says, yes, it is time to go to the mother ship. Here, please write down these things to to say when you meet the queen of the bees. And the guy goes, yes, I will say these things. <laughs> <laughs> As you guys are uh, uh, watching this, um, a car skids up. Uh, it's some old sedan, and four guys in clown masks are getting out and ru rushing this way with shotguns. Yes. <laughs> Nobody else is fucking noticed yet. Um. So is there a... So is the security guard here, like, in the no. old, there's no. no security guard? No. Is there a place to hide? Yes, absolutely there is. Um, Matt Matt probably knows, uh, sorry, Alex Kinley knows where the best places are to hide if uh, you want to grab him. You saw him checking out the bank while you were thinking about skinning that poor bastard in front of you. <laughs> yeah, I ask Alex. Alex, do you want, or actually, I'm just going through the thing. She's asking Alex, Alex, what are you doing? Uh, I am um, taking cover. <laughs> Excellent. He's going somewhere. She goes with him. Doc, what are you doing? Everybody else I'll is take still cover as well. All right. You guys scurry over and you get, you get cover so that people aren't going to see you. At this point, the four clowns come bursting in and they yell, oh, nobody move. Dude, this is a robbery. And it's at that point, now you guys have cover. Everything's fine for you so far, unless you're wanting to do stuff. But the two armed guards from the armored truck come in and come back in with the manager and they've got like a push thing and they're like, holy shit. And so they, and it is a firefight. <laughs> so, right. I'm going to uh, do a, a, well, actually, instead of doing a few rounds, basically, I just want to know, are you guys wanting to do anything or just observe for a while or what? You're within two sprint rolls of either side. Yeah, fuck that. I think I will just observe. observe. Wait, Doc? Yeah, wait for it. No problem. Okay, so... A lot of fucking shooting goes on. Um, eventually, at the end, of, and everybody else is just like dropping to the ground or standing there screaming or whatever. Uh, and in the end of it, uh, one of the clowns is gut shot and down, and both of the other guys are uh, the sec the security money guys seem to be dead. 
Um, and like one of, one of the clowns is like, holy shit, Barry's been hit. And one of the other guys goes, it'd be a lot better if you didn't fucking say his name. He's like, I'm sorry, Jim. God damn it. Stop <laughs> calling me by name. Stuff like that. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> He's trying to blow your cover and tell the robbers where you are. <laughs> um, and did it sound like the shotguns are out of like are they almost out of ammo or like how many shots did they get off oh they they they, they got off plenty but they they are like reloading from time to time during the firefight okay. stuff. got it um let's see there there's um there seems to be four of them uh their names are gutshot leader fat and stupid <laughs> <laughs> These are the names that anybody watching would assign. Now, uh, everybody can give me a spot hit roll of negative 20, as it's really hard to see and they're kind of far away. No. Fumble. Did Yana fumble? Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. One of the, guy, one of the guys, uh, the one that I named stupid, is actually an alien of some sort. <laughs> He's hiding his fucking alienness with the clown mask. Could you imagine seeing oh. that? Ooh! <laughs> Chris, did you make your spot hidden? No, not at the negative. I did not. Got it. Now, everybody, give me a uh, medicine uh, roll or possibly first aid at negative 20. I have medicine. Got it. Nice. Of course, the guy called Doc Fulton will fucking make it. Otherwise, that's another fumble. Yeah. Okay, Yana. Uh, these guys are um, obviously like there's some sort of Buddhist. They practice like the inner calm thing, uh. and they they're just especially the alien. The alien is probably using his fucking powers to calm everybody except that bitch who won't stop screaming down. <laughs> and oh, here, let me uh, uncover some more stuff. Here are the people that you are currently being held hostage with. Because the robbers are yelling at each other, trying to figure out what to do. I think, there you go. Oh, yeah. I'm Even going to the bank is exciting. I'm on the Buddhist side. Now, uh, those of you who made their role, these guys are on PCP or something like that. Possibly speed. Possibly paid for by the Church of Stan. You're not sure. <coughs> the guards are definitely dead, or are they just down? Uh, you're not really sure. Prob your guess is uh, the multiple shotgun blasts they took. If they're still alive, they ain't happy. Okay. Um, yeah, so they're, they're yelling at each other what to do, and uh, the fat one is staying out here, and the others are like going, and uh, they discover the, the containers are full of change and shit, and they're trying to like get more money. So there's one, one guy out here still, and another one is kind of like you can still see him, but he's kind of down the hall. And the R2 are searching. So they're kind of covering the people with two. And they're yelling at them to stay down or, you know, they're going to get shot. And if anybody does anything, they're going to get shot. And people are like, oh, my God. Oh my God. Mm -hmm. And listen, Rolls. But who is the inside man, then? Mm. Is that the, uh, the police coming? You make it? Yeah. Hey, yes, it is. Yes, it is. Apparently, they haven't heard it yet because they're busy yelling at each other. Or the fact that they've been discharging a lot of shotguns recently with no hearing protection. Not a good thing. I'll be right back. Hold on. Which one is it? Well, the top left-hand corner picture, that's Jesus' brother. Then... Gotta be the white guy with the beard and the tongue. Inside man. 
It's always the evil white guy. Mm -hmm. The white man is responsible for everything. Mm -hmm. White man keeping us down. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you keep an extra eye on him. Just so you guys know, you guys are definitely separated from the herd. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. In fact, as soon as Chris gets his uh, headset back on, I'll say something else. Okay, you near me, Chris? Yeah. Yeah. Since you guys are so separated from the herd, and since uh, uh, Alex took a while and like tasted the drink, if you guys want, you can all give me a stealth roll, and the robbers won't know you're there. Ooh. <laughs> Otherwise, they'll know you're there and just yell at you and shit, and maybe shoot you. I don't know. It's hard to say. But everybody has to make it. If one person blows it, then you're, you've been spotted. I made it. I uh, made it. Good. It all comes down to Chris Tacos. Quick Tacos. He stands up. I'm a doctor. <laughs> my, my friends are here to save the day. <laughs> you going with that, Chris? <laughs> All the robbers yell at you guys, get over here and join the rest of them. <laughs> no. <laughs> Look, um, two guys, I, the, the, the guy gets the air guy and they come over and threaten you with shotguns. Do you want to die? Get over there. All right, I'll get over there. Just calm yourself. Your friend with the, with the shot to the stomach, I might be able to help him. He's a doctor. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. You okay. get over there. Do you guys want to go over there or enter into combat with these two? I will go over there. All right. <laughs> He's like, this is exciting. Let's go. I'm a hostage. <laughs> no problem. Give me a first aid roll. You don't have any of the shit to really do first aid or medicine here. This well, is like figuring out what's wrong with it. There's not a first aid kit in the uh, in the bank somewhere? Uh, there might be, but you don't see it from where you're at. You would have to do the whole I need a first aid kit as opposed to they, they just want you to perform miracles with fucking spit in your hands or whatever. I, I tell them, hey, can I look for a first aid kit? I'm sure there's. No, stay there, stay there. He's really hurt. Fix Shut your up. friend or not? I will get somebody to get it for you. I said, I said to me, and I go, this is great experience. I'm going to find out one of the guns. Well, I can really use this. We call it acting fuel. <laughs> the random person you're talking to. One of, just... one of the one of the one of the actual robbers. Oh, <laughs> you think you're, you're not sure of his expression since he's wearing a fucking clown mask? But gaping is probably a good guess. <laughs> um, I fucking hate this town. <laughs> the dumb one says to the other one. Everybody's a fucking actor. Um. Right, they yell at the other two guys who are looking for money to get the, the first aid kit because they've got <laughs> these fucking hostages. Yeah. And I, one of them yells, you get it, we're fucking looting. He goes, all right, all right. if anybody moves, she's going to get it. He points to a uh, lady and goes, what's your name? She goes, Is it Isabella. And he's like, don't move, Isabella. If anybody does anything bad while well, he's getting it, Isabella dies. Well, that's good because I don't care about her. So. <laughs> Isabella looks at you. All the other hostages look at you like, you horrible monster. I'm just honest, you know. I, I just, All right, I she gets it. She gets it if anybody moves. Isabella's like, woo, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> ah, right. right. Um, also, I would like to take a, I'm going to take a bit of a time load really study these guys like look at all the minute detail like what kind of clothes are they wearing is there any like badges on them like you know i don't think be stupid enough to wear something like with name, a name <laughs> actually there have been robbers yeah. busted for wearing fucking name tags with their full name yeah. on it yeah because <laughs> what, kind of, like, what kind of shoes are they wearing what kind of sure sure no problem you you soak in the details well mainly of the two because the air ones buggered off to the back and they're currently robbing the shit out of the place but uh no problem one of the two guys like the one with the shotgun goes and stands behind her you guys are all being made to like sit on the floor and stuff 
And one of them stands behind her with a shotgun just waiting to fucking shoot. And you hope, because he hasn't indexed his finger along the trigger, he's holding the trigger. So you're not sure if it's going to go off and shoot her in the back of the fucking head because he's definitely the bonus. And if it does, it'll probably just make her mad. So the other one goes off to get the first aid kit. Uh, as far as clothes and stuff, by the way, it's strictly amateur hour here as far as the robbers go. You guys are thinking these guys are barely competent for snatch and grab, much less anything more strenuous. Mm -hmm. And the police arrive outside. The robber yells at the other guy. The other guy comes back without a first aid kit. And, and they're freaking out. And they're, they're, he's like, lock the doors. And the guy runs over with a fucking bike lock and his fucking because he didn't have the fucking lock thing. It's like one of the twists. So no first aid kit then? Shut up! Shut up! And the, guy, and the cops are like, ah, and they're, they're starting to mass outside and stuff, you know, and the, the first responders are probably calling for backup and getting on the other side of their cars. Which, so the, the leader and who's the one that got shot? Was, which one's he? Uh, he's Gutshot is his name. Right, but which one is he out of the fat, stupid idiot and leader? Uh, the names were Gutshot, Leader, right, Fat, right. and Stupid. So which were the two that are by us? As uh, far as the two... That oh, shit. Yeah, you're right. I didn't... The math didn't quite add up. So only Leader is currently looting, and Fat and Stupid are trying to cover you. And But right now, Fat is trying to chain doors, and Stupid is ready to uh, shoot Miss Bumgardner right. in the back of the head. I, like, I turned to Stupid, and I'm like... Do you not get what's going on here? Huh? This is the alien, by the way. It's the alien. Oh. And for you, for you other two who didn't fumble, since he's much closer now, you can make a new spot hidden roll at full. Okay. Oh, got it. Okay. Got it. You guys think that underneath his clown mask, he may be in blackface. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He goes, what? What? Well, think about it. Your leader guy, he's not going to want to show it four ways, is he? Probably after this, they'll probably just do you in the back of the head anyway. More money for them. The, no, he wouldn't do that. No. That's what I would do. Jim wouldn't do that. Wouldn't I do thought, not? didn't Jim already said that? Never mind. I, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Hey, Paul, says the fat one. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you you be quiet. Yeah, otherwise I'm going to shoot you too. Okay, so why don't you cover me and we can go get that first aid kit. And you can just walk with me as I go and get it. And then you can walk with me back here and, and we can get the first aid kit and help your friend. Yeah, fat one is coming back and the stupid one's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna go with him. I'm gonna take him to get the first aid kit. And the fat one goes, "Okay, <laughs> right." So he 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 says the stupid one goes, "Okay, but you gotta take off your shoes." Why? Take them off! Take them off! He threatens you with the shotgun. I I intimidate him. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. <laughs> just one, then. Just one. Take off one shoe. I think you should take off your shoes. What? Shut up, says the fat one. I take off <laughs> one shoe. Why exactly am I taking a shoe off? So you can't run if things go bad, says the stupid uh -oh. one. <laughs> that makes You're no sense, but that's off. okay. Come on. <laughs> It'd be better if you had both off your thinking as you go <laughs> Uh, right. Yeah, he, he's he, he's covering you way too close. <clears throat> he, he likes to keep the barrel so it occasionally touches the back of your head. Hey, and, why don't you calm down with that? Uh, he says. You don't need to hit me in the back of the head with it. Just exactly. cover me. All right, I'm not right. gonna. I, I got you covered. I got you covered. He Good takes job. You in the back. Yeah. Has anyone told you you're doing a good job today? Ooh, no, Jim doesn't tell me that. Stop using my fucking name, yells Jim. Jim seems really mean. 
Uh, he's okay. He, he's all right. He's not as bad as Vince. Oh. Stop using Vince's name, you fucking moron! <laughs> so and then you hear from the fat one. What? Uh, what I do? Shut up, everybody! Uh, there's the first aid kit. Oh, okay, cool. I grab the first aid kit, and we would go back. Do no we problem. walk by the guards that were down, or no? Oh, yeah. Oh, fucking yeah. just rivers of blood. Give me a first aid roll, just a quick diagnosis. <laughs> diagnosis. 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 Murder. Yes. Did you make it? I'm looking. Okay. No. No? They could be okay still. If so Dr. wait. What? I, I, I'm curious. Uh, do they do they have their pistols out? Like, where are the pistols at? Are they in the ground? Right or? there. Pretty much almost at your feet. In fact, Paul, the stupid one, has walked through their blood. <laughs> so now he's leaving little red footprints. But the pistols are right the fuck there. Two I'm going to drop the first aid kit. Go, oh, oops. When I go down to pick up the first aid kit, I'm going to swipe the gun and pocket it. I want to press the digitation roll at negative 20. He's, he, he's, well, actually, negative 10. He's not all that observant. But this is quite a fucking feat to just whoop a pistol out. Got it. You clumsy. You clumsy. Come on. Hurry up. Bring that first aid kit. Barry's dying. Yep, yep. And you, okay. the, the gut shot one goes, hey, hey, yeah. Vince. And Vince goes, yeah. Tell Paul to stop using my fucking name. And he's like, I'll fucking tell him. So you guys come back in. And now you've got everybody's name. Yay. Yay. You're surprised they aren't using last names as well. Right. So give me a first aid roll if you want to do some patch him up or pistol roll if you want to just fucking put that into his gut. And oh, definitely I, get it. The did it. I got my first aid. All right. Yeah. Oh, he really is a doctor. Yeah. Both of the guys, uh, for you other two, just so you guys know, both of the guys are watching the doctor as opposed to anybody else. All the other hostages seem frozen in fear or looking around at each other. Especially that white guy with the fucking beard. He's watching everybody. Yeah. So, you guys want to do anything, or would you like to watch the doctor work as well? Uh, so can we? Are we? Uh, oh, I'll um, I'll go and join the rest of the hostages. Oh, you're already with the rest right, of the right. hostages. I'm moving over to him next to the guy with the, the white guy with the beard. All right, sure. You, you, that's not a problem. Nobody even notices except the white guy with the beard who looks at you like. <gasps> so, I thought you were going to get away with it. What? Inside man. What? I see you scoping everyone out. What? Just admit it. No, I, I, I don't know. What you're... Be quiet. Be quiet. Be quiet. Ah, 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 give me an intimidate roll. Plus 20 intimidate. Uh, got it. <laughs> he fucking pisses himself. He, he freaks out. He just ah, and he pees himself. Uh, we have an issue. <laughs> Both of the guys who were watching the doctor now look at Alex and the guy with the beard. Like, huh? And they see the little puddle of urine, and they're like. The fuck is going on here? I wish you were doing okay. Good job. I'll get you out. Don't worry. <laughs> Why did you do it? Why did you do so <laughs> Doc, nobody's looking at you at all. Except the for cops, the guy that's on the ground, I guess. Yeah, he, he is. The cops, meanwhile, uh, there's, there's more people coming in. And... Oh, uh, you see a the vehicle that they came in had tried to drive off and got stopped after about eight meters. It made it eight meters, and the cops have that guy out of the car and on the ground. He's he's fucking French kissing the pavement right now. Um, 
Yeah. Hey, Paul. Paul. Stop using my name. <laughs> God damn it. Come here, Vince. Vince. They, they point shotguns at you and yell at you for a while. They're really upset. Think about something. it. What are you going to do? Where are you going to go? Where Just be go? quiet. Be quiet. You hear you hear uh, wheels and see Jim wheeling out more loot than they can probably actually carry, especially with two-handed shotguns. You're thinking this is not going well. Mm -hmm. And so now all three of them are back in this thing. And uh, Vince points at uh, Alex and goes, hey, Jim, he won't stop using my name. Jim, don't be reasonable here. God damn it, I hate this. Which, which, which one is the alien one? What is his name? The third one that had the gun to the back of your head. Yep. Yeah. That would be Paul, that's the okay. alien one. Or for you other two who didn't fumble your role, he's in blackface. <laughs> the cops are currently working on surrounding the building and shit like that. Does anybody have police tactics? No. Yes. Go ahead and roll it, learn. Maybe you'll pick up a new skill. Fumble. You're pretty sure that they're going to fucking oh. blow up the whole building, Doc, with everybody in it. I made it. It's That's usually only, what happens. It's the only way to prevent these kind of robberies. Really cool. Uh, Yana, you're thinking you've probably got about another 15 to 20 minutes before SWAT team gets here and yeah. things get real. Mm. So, guys, um, Paul. I'm yeah, using my favorite. name. <laughs> Jim Baker, stop using my name. God damn it, I'm going to shoot you all myself. <laughs> I, I said you were so going to do that. Do you, do you see the police outside, Paul? Vince and Jim and Patty? Stop using my name. Do you see the fucking police outside, or are you so like. They, they all now stop looking at you, and they all look at the police. Yeah, so you have like 10 minutes, and after that, you will be all dead. So what do what do we do to prevent this catastrophic event? At that point, one of the bank's phones began to ring. See? They want to stall you. <laughs> what? <laughs> Says Jim. I didn't even understand what she said. Oh, God, you are so stupid. <laughs> Maybe I should have worked with her. <laughs> you should, yes. And he's like, yes, yes. <sighs> we, now, now, we, we want a bus. A bus. And we want to get out of here. Give me a hostage. Yeah. Now, we're going to execute one instead. Yeah, bye. Bye. <laughs> Right. He comes over and he's getting he's getting ready to gun down a random hostage. Each of you can pick a number between one and twelve. Each of you please pick different numbers. Nine. I will pick nine. <laughs> you know, if you like before this happens, mm -hmm. before he goes to gun, I'll be like, you know, if you do that, they're gonna come in full breach ASAP. Yeah. If you wait for it. And keep them as hostages instead, instead of start blasting, then you will have more time to figure out a way out of here. Give me give me a fast talk at half. He is on drugs and Got it. not really. Well, <laughs> apparently he, he'll listen to you. He goes, All right. But I want her to negotiate for us with what we want, because she seems to know what she's doing. <laughs> All right. Well, why don't we take your friend who's been gut shot? to uh one of the offices where there's a couch we can lay him down and then uh, he'll be more comfortable too yeah, he's fine a couch sounds nice <laughs> all right why don't you uh hey jim why don't you help me <laughs> no no i think he points to the guy with the beard he'll help you yeah 
Okay. Yeah. That's nice. Right. The guy looks accusingly at you with the beard like you bastard. I'll do you for this. And he goes and picks up the feet end because it's lighter. Okay. Give me a strength roll not to have hilarity ensue as you're trying to carry poor gutshot Barry. No, hilarity in, ensues. You drop him literally on his head. He's like, Aah! the other guy holds his feet and looks smug. Like, I got the correct end. Nah, let's just drag him by his feet then. Did Logan roll the NPC? Oh, for holding his feet? Sure, I'll make that roll. Let's see. Smug? Yeah, actually, he may just be in a heap. Let's see. Yeah, he's laying there in a heap. So even at this bonus, we'll just, we'll he's drag him. as a kitten. No problem. Uh, right, you end up dragging him pretty much by yourself. It just shows this fucking smear of blood. <laughs> uh, give me a strength roll to get him up on a couch. Otherwise, you can just kind of stick him next to He's next to a couch. It's close. That'll do. <laughs> he's got a pillow. There, yeah, nice. But you're now currently by yourself in an office because nobody thought to go with you. These guys. <laughs> They're worried about the police. So is this guy is he is he uh is he knocked out now or what? Uh let me let me try a roll for him. Uh actually um and let me check on something. He is in the fucking heavily stunned category, and uh, he's still got a shotgun, though, but he's he's at a huge negative to try to do anything after being dropped on his fucking head. <laughs> oh, but he's still, he's still uh, conscious? Kind of. Kind of? Okay. All right, can you help me get you up on this couch here, buddy? I'm... I'm... <laughs> But you want to get on the couch, don't you? Uh, it hurts too much. All right, hold on. I go, I come back out, and uh, I ask the hostages. I was like, hey, does any of you have uh, pain medication? Hmm. Yeah. I go to the old people. <laughs> what kind they, of pain they... meds do you have? The 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 uh, uh, the second old person on the top row looks really shifty. Give me empathy rolls. He's a ring monster. Got my quarter. You're thinking he's a greedy old fucker who doesn't want to give up his meds because he's an American and they cost way too much money. Look, I just need a couple. I don't need all of them. Uh, he mutters and grumbles about getting repaid and shit and digs out two tablets and passes them to you. Okay. Because old you. people like to carry medicine on them. Okay. You're not quite sure what it is. Give me a pharmacy roll. No, no. I They're pills. Kind of... Pills are good. Pills are medicine. Medicine makes you better. Therefore, these are good for the guy. Can I see you. can I see your prescription, please? I I he shows you the bottle. Give me a new ph pharmacy roll as you have more information. Got it. Ah, oh, yeah. These are heart medications. Probably not the <laughs> best thing to give the guy, but yeah, whatever. You, the, just one pill is enough. Two probably would have killed him. Okay, cool. I take two. Excellent. <laughs> uh, no problem. You take them in. The guy thinks medicine, pills. I'll take these. He takes them. It'll be a bit before he dies, but it's coming. Excellent. Um, well, so is he laying on the couch? Now, will he... I, I give him the pills. Do you want to get up on the couch? Uh, Lo and he does. Now. Now. He says, all right. All right. Just, all right. Well, this Do is you want me to take a shotgun? Give it to your friends? <laughs> I want a fast talk at a quarter. Matt, what was that? Well, no. I want to be going. I want to go around all the different people, the hostages, and I want to just have a quick chat with them. And be like, "Hey, how you doing? You know, what, what do you do? Do you work here? Stuff like that." <coughs> and if any of them have any kind of weird answers to, like, you know, mm. what, what are you doing here? What do you work here? Type thing. Excellent. Um, well, I'm trying to reassuring, but I'm just looking out for any kind of oddities. With the there, there is something odd. The uh, the uh, first guy on the second row. The first guy on the second row. 
Yeah, the the guy with the big mustache. He doesn't speak English, only Spanish, apparently. Oh, hold on. Hola, como esta? Ooh, give me a Spanish roll. He, he talks at you in fucking rapid no, fire I'm Spanish. I my learning. There you go. No. Apparently, oh. if he's the inside man, he is beyond understanding. Give me um. Mm, give me a general overall empathy for the group of them, Matthew. Funny by luck. Uh, you're not sure. It's it's hard to tell. Although everybody is very suspicious of the white guy with the beard and mustache because he's white and has a beard and mustache and seems to be a prick. So must, be evil. must be evil. So, uh, Doc, do you want to leave your patient and come back out? Uh, I'll be right back. And I come, I come out. Okay. I go, I go over to Alex. I was like, I have key. What, Mikey? Mikey's <laughs> not here. He couldn't make it. So. <laughs> All right, thank you. Um, and I, I, what? I was going to ask uh, Yana what she's up to. Um, I think I just tried to talk to the people who are robbing the place. Uh, well, actually, they want you to give give uh, a list of demands on the phone. Okay. The police. The phone is ringing. I pick up the phone. Hello, this is Sergeant McNeil. Who's this? Hi, I'm one of the hostages. <laughs> All right. What, what's your name? Fuck. Pardon me? Are, are you all right? Are you under duress? I'm, I'm all right, yes. Okay, okay, that's good. Now, what, what's your name? I throw the phone. <laughs> the, the, all the guys in the clown mask look at you and just blink. Like, and the the leader goes, "What about our demands?" Blink hard again. Now, now we. I need to go out talk to the police because we don't have phone. <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> But I'm your leader. What? <laughs> Sit down before we shoot you. <laughs> Do you remember? I was the person who hired you to do this. They yell at you to sit down and stuff. Okay. And all the other hostages look at you like you are scum. <laughs> That's the inside person. What of says? I sit down. Yeah. The gym guy goes, that's right. It was her. She has our families and forced us to do this. He does the shifty dog eyes under the clown mask. Oh. He tries his bullshit roll to see if any of the other hostages believe him. He is not a smart man, apparently. <laughs> so uh, they, this, him saying that actually helps uh, the woman with no name out of it, even though she refuses to establish any kind of communication with the police officers. I tried. They tried for about two seconds. Yeah. <laughs> they wanted to know my name. That's like, you don't uh, do that to a person. Yeah. I, the, the, um, right. The, you guys can tell the SWAT team is very close to moving in and stuff. And um, since you made your police tactics there, Mildred, oh, uh, actually, this is a really important role. Um, Chris, what is your conceal holdout? Yana, was your spot hidden? Um, do you want me to roll it, or do you just want to know what my passive is? Passive. My spot roll. 66. Okay. 56. Right. Yana, this is the important role. You want less than 50 because you guys have about even amount. So it could go either way here. Mm, no. 77. Bummer. So what do you guys, uh, Yana, you know that they're getting ready to come in really damn soon. Hey, 
the police is coming, you fuckers. <laughs> Last chance to do something clever. I love it. <laughs> uh, give me an intimidation roll there, Yana. <laughs> Oh no, didn't make it. No right. problem. As Jim has his shotgun barrel almost in your face and is yelling at you about how they have everything under control, <laughs> the front windows explode and the cops come in hard. Great, great. Now, the uh, there are a certain number of hostages which die in this exchange. So each of you pick a number between one and twelve. Nine. Don't Nine. Pick, <laughs> don't pick the same number to see if you get mown down or at least take damage. So uh, he gets nine. What do you pick, Yana, who said it too slow? Three. Three. And Chris? I'll go with seven. Seven. Okay, so three, nine, three, seven, nine. And I have to roll three different times here so and not get the same number. So, Frank? Frank? You guys are some lucky motherfuckers. Mm -hmm. No problem. People you could give a shit about get mowed down. Oh, let me do a luck roll for the one dude. Including the guy with the mustache and beard who everybody is very suspicious of. Uh, yeah, fuck him. He dies. But no problem. Uh, they get taken out. Now, Chris, give me a conceal holdout roll. This is for your pistol because the cops are got it. rescuing you. Fortunately, they don't see it because it could have gone very badly for you, had they. So, no problem. You guys get taken outside and, you know, given blankets and shit like that. Cocoa. <laughs> no problem. They'll bring you some cocoa. They're getting your statements. They don't have any whiskey for you. But as the uh, police are questioning you guys... Uh, you guys see a little old blue haired lady, like the blue rinse that old women put in their hair. She comes up and goes, officer, somebody wrecked my car. And she's pointing at the, the uh, uh, ugly green uh, car that got in the accident with the uh, truck. And the cop's kind of brushing her off. And he's like, no, no, ma'am, we, we, we're dealing with hostages have died and the bank robbery. And she's like, my sedan is Hold on, hold on, hold on. So you don't know a short little bald guy. What? I described the guy that was driving the car that got out. No. Mm. Officers, I believe there are more men that are part of this that are on that have not been captured. Would well, you me? mind working with a uh, sketch artist? Of to... course. Excellent. Give me a memory roll to correctly remember this fucker. <laughs> Uh, Damn, I was hoping to pull out the <laughs> orange frizzy haired guy picture again. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, no problem. The the uh, the press is swooping in. I was curious, uh, the, the hostages that got shot, are they dead or? Um, uh, let me find out. Uh, on a scale from 1 to 10, how much damage did they take? Not much. Not much. Uh, definitely hospitalizing the guy with the fucking beard and shit. All right. Now, I assume, are there ambulances on site yeah. already? Yeah. yeah. The, the oh. shit's all getting taken care of and I, stuff. I also mentioned the, um, I, I give the, at the same time, the description of the driver of the big truck, but uh, I'm not sure if he, okay. he could be also part of it, or he could just be on an unwitting. <laughs> okay. No problem. Uh, yeah. The, actually, the truck driver, he's still here because it right. takes a while. He, the cops are happy to talk to him as well. And you know, he, he did it. Fuck, he says. <laughs> no problem. Um, the, the the reporters want to talk to you guys. Uh, and they they unfortunately for them they ask the woman with no name first. What's your name? Were you involved? All right, and how about you? They go, Doc Fulton. What what would you like to know? Uh, what was were you involved? How were you involved? And what's your name? Um, James Fulton. Um, no, I was just in the bank when it was robbed by the four idiots. My God, you were a hostage. Yeah, for a bit. Yeah. 
Could you tell us of your trying ordeal, sir? Um, yeah, I watched them act like idiots and not know how to rob the bank very well. And then uh, the one got shot in the gut and I, and that's about it. All right. And you may go to Alex. I am Alex Kendi, actor extraordinaire. Woo! They say a story. <laughs> More microphones getting fucking clustered into his face. And what was your role in this? We were. We were the key instruments in thwarting the bad guys, giving the police time to break in before gunning down all the hostages. <laughs> <laughs> the cops in the background are like, you fuck. No problem. I of give course, they did, they did a upstanding work. It's just obviously some people, uh, you know, casualties along the way. That kind of thing. Give me, since you're going over the top, give me an acting role and a talent role and a fast talk role. <laughs> if, if you make all three, then you are right. going to be, you know, any of them? I didn't make any of them and you might stumble with my fast talk. Okay. <laughs> this guy obviously great. Oh, no, I didn't fumble. Oh, so damn. Just, uh, just all notes. Wow. Okay. Well, yeah. They they move on to try to find a more charismatic hostage. They they briefly try talking to uh, the the uh, Mexican guy and don't get very far with him. <laughs> you know, it's like okay, okay. So uh, right. Um, shit's going on. Uh, is there anything else you guys are wanting to do here? The bank is obviously closed right now because you know robbery. Uh, oh yeah, I suppose we could do what we were here to do. Oh, no, we're not, we're not yeah. stealing the box. <laughs> I was gonna say, yeah, the the cops are kind of doing the whole let's investigate shit. They're not gonna be like, yeah, you can go ahead, come on into the vault. No, no, no. Okay. Well, I'm guessing we'll have to come back then. Would I... you like to cut to coming back time or do something else while you're downtown? Oh, downtown. Yeah. The riots more if you want. They'd probably go start a new one if you wanted. Yeah, why not? Pick Good up a, idea. Pick up a bin, throw it against the window. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go! Yay! <laughs> Yay! All right. So yeah, um, what do you want to do as far as uh, checking out the riots? Let's go down to where it all happened. I wouldn't mind checking just to see what you know. Is Everybody, around. give me gang lore rolls. I've got this. No. No. Doc, can that go on your streetwise? And no, this is specialty knowledge of the gang situation. Streetwise would be a different role if you want to do a streetwise role for some other information. Got it. You got your gang lore or streetwise? Streetwise. No, I ah. don't have gang lore. No problem. Uh, streetwise, uh, that area is pretty dangerous normally. Like before the riots, it was pretty dangerous. You're not sure about now, but before the riots, definitely it's the kind of place where you had to be careful, you know? Sure. Not play the fool or you get capped in the ass type of shit. I feel you. So, no problem. You guys head over there. It's um, there's there's still a, a decent police presence, but pretty much it's all done there. It it looks like uh, it's one of those skate parks, like where people with the skateboards and shit have like the concrete uh, ramps and such, so that they can do tricks on <laughs> and shit like that. And there's benches and stuff for sitting around. Um, drinking 40s with your homies or whatever the fuck you're into. Uh, there don't seem to be uh, a lot of gangbangers there currently. Maybe things will happen after dark. Um, or you want to, are, is anybody wanting to look for anything specific? Well, we saw Grab some it. of the footage. Like, where did some of that weird shit occur? Uh you're pretty much at, at ground zero here. It's this this skate park area. It's as big. I'm not sure how big a normal skate park is in meters and stuff, but it's a 
it's a pretty elaborate one. It was put in years ago as like part of a let's let's give the young people so something to do so they don't like, become it. right instead of robbing people. And then the gang said ours now, and that the city goes well. That didn't work out as we hoped. <laughs> um, <laughs> But, yeah, so you're not you're you're kind of at ground zero, wandering around. As are other people. Uh, that's the reason for the police presence. And there are a couple of lousy reporters who are just like talking about it or getting establishing shots and shit like that. Here, your guess would be the cops are here because tourists are coming to look at you know the scene of a horrific thing. You know, get their picture next to. Uh, old blood splattered cement type of shit. A lot of gang tat or gang uh, graffiti and stuff. Uh, tagging, as they call it, is all the fuck over the place. Although your guess uh, for anybody that has uh, above uh, decent gang lawyers, that shit may change in the near future. Yo, 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 yo homies. I'm imagining a guy with a fucking Irish accent doing that now. <laughs> so, uh, yo, 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 my homies. <laughs> Just an over the so, top fucking Lucky Charms accent. It's the, the studio's downtown as well, right? It is, but it's, it's definitely in a different place than this. Sure. I mean, right. but yeah, the, you, you're, you are in the bad part of downtown right now. With the other tourists looking at shit, there's uh, everybody can give me a ah, danger sense roll for something a little different than danger. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There's definitely some oh. something to be had here. It's niggling at your brain, but unless somebody specifically tells me what they want, you'll get nothing and like it, young man. Well, okay, thinking back to the footage we saw. It was a lot of the the footage that was on the the TV <laughs> reports and stuff was a lot of reporters, some uh, uh, cell phones and shit like that. Uh, reporters uh, actually were getting killed, and their camera crews were getting killed as they were filming. Which then other reporters reported on the deaths of the first reporters, and some of those died too, which was great. Uh, but yeah, uh, that's the footage that made the news. I'm giving a refill for the first person that goes, what about blah? And then I go, bah, bah, bah. Oh, what about, um, is there not, so, okay, well, what about other demon boxes? Uh, How do you mean, Matt? Don't they have, like, surveillance cameras? Da, 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 take a refill, yes. Uh, you guys find some very not obvious cameras set up here and there. I need evidence analysis rolls from everybody. Lower is better. So, it's not like CCTV then. Uh, it it is, but um, a lot of them are for specific, well, not not CC. It's more like uh, this business doesn't want people fucking it up, and so it put in its own little cameras. But this is for figuring out how many cameras actually have angles onto the area that you give a shit about. How many different cameras <laughs> do you get? Well, this is tech stuff, so it's way out of my league. Okay, how about you, other guys? I felt miserable. It all comes down to the doc. I made it. Oh, how well? I made it. You find a camera that uh, you think that if you can get hold of their uh, recordings, that uh, it, it should uh, show you the area. But more cameras would have been better for different angles, just in case. Docs, and only doc. Since you got it, give me a luck roll. Lower is better. You want lower. Oh. That's low. It's not a crit, but pretty good. Okay. Oh, it is a crit. That's better. Nice. No problem. If there was just one camera you wanted to get, this is it. Nice. <laughs> but uh, it's it's for uh, like a pawn shop. Oh, if, if anything, that's even better because... Everything's for sale there. Everything. Well, let's see how you handle it then. The doc goes, 
and it shows like the, the and it does the graphic thing where it drops down the area and it shows various camera angles. And it goes this one. And it lights up and it goes punch up. Minority report. There you go. He's minority reporting the fucking crime scene. The cops haven't figured this out, hopefully. If they have, then maybe there won't be anything there. All right, but well, we go to the park. You're suspecting with a luck roll like that. Who knows? There might be. The pawn shop guy, he's like old, sleazy, brownish skin guy. He could be a tanned white guy. He could be a light uh, uh, um, miscellaneous, you know, brown dude. Um, well, I, everybody, most of the people in the world are brown. <laughs> So he, he, he's got one of those uh, fedoras that's kind of perched up on his head and he's chewing on a toothpick and he looks at you and he goes, yeah, we got it. We got it. Oh, excellent. Because I'm here to get it. No problem. He <laughs> take, takes a case out from behind the counter and opens up a big flat case and inside are different handkerchiefs with blood on them. Yeah, how many would you like? Some of them also look like uh, ashes are on them with the blood mixed in with the blood. This is authentic blood from the victims out there. Yeah, that's what you're here for. I know. No, actually, I wanted to see your um, oh, your camera footage. He puts it away. He goes, "What camera footage?" From the camera outside. What camera outside? You know the one outside? I don't know what you're talking about. You think he knows what you're talking about. So how much would it cost to get some of that uh, footage? Yeah, well, you know, if there was such footage and, you know, if the police came by and collected all of the footage, there wouldn't be much to sell now, would there? No, there wouldn't. Yeah, and so if there was, then it would be very expensive, wouldn't it? Or I could let the police know that you have the footage and you would be out altogether. If there was such a thing, then it would probably go that way, but I'm not saying there is. Well, well you know, how expensive would it be? Let's put some bills on the table and find out. He he drips. He he uh, applies extra sleaze to his face. I lay a couple hundred bucks on the on the counter. Two hundred. Uh huh. Give like me. I, a, he uh, raises an eyebrow at that. I lay a couple more. He smiles and nods. He goes, you know, I I don't sell that sort of thing. He scoops up your money, but I do have an extra flash drive that uh, you can buy for that money. Would you like to buy a flash drive? Sure. Great. He takes it out of a box of them, mm -hmm. and <laughs> he goes, "There's your flash drive. Would you like a receipt?" Sure. He writes, "Fancy ass flash drive." <laughs> $400 and <laughs> gives you the receipt. Excellent. You might want to erase it first. I don't know if there's anything on there, but erase it before you use it. Gotcha. Thank you. Yeah, I, I got, I feel you. I feel oh, you. Okay. Okay. Bye. Bye. <laughs> I wink back, so he stops winking. <laughs> this appears to mollify him. You guys take your $400 flash drive that maybe holds a gig or two. Um, 